right, factors affecting practice in the sector, <coughs> right? We are interested in child factors. Uh, what do we call the child? Yep. Family. Family factors, school factors, community and national factors. That's what we're going to focus on next. Okay. Okay, to move on to the next slide. Right. Now the child factor. Oh, the child factors. Now the child's age. Right, how does the child's age affect your practice as a practitioner? Of what um, age and stage of development you were working at for the Yes. Either. And how does that affect your, what influence does that have? What, what you teach them. Yeah, what you teach them. What else? What, what activities you give them. Activities you give them. What resources. What you expect from them. Yes, resources, expectations. What else? What language you use. Yes. Like, do you just do you need this lesson on? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. How about the child's personality? <laughs> personality. <laughs> yep, you can argue personality has an impact on the child's learning style. So what do you do with the child's learning style? How okay, so it's how you interact with them depends on the child's learning style. Uh, learning style has a relationship with uh, personality. Will that be schemas? Do you want to expand on that? That's a big word. Big short. It's just it's just the learning style, isn't it? <laughs> right. You have. Have you read literature on personality? Uh, you have things like uh, personality types. Oh yeah, I've read about personality yeah. disorders. Type A. <laughs> Okay, yep, that's fine. What do you want to expand on it? Yes, go on. It's really interesting how someone can have more than one personality. It is interesting, yes. Is it like three actually? I don't know what. What? That's a good question. Yeah, just two actually. Dan's brother had a girlfriend who stole 17 pairs of his mum's knickers. Not to. Oh my gosh, you're calling me. Yeah. So that be is less likely to 
distressed. Right. Many of other aspects to do with uh, personality, like agreeableness, right? Some people are agreeable, we're easy to convince, and others are disagreeable. They, anything that you say to them, they say no. <laughs> um, you also have things like conscientiousness. Some people are conscientious, i.e., they keep to task, they keep to their goals, and others are not. They write their assignment the day before. Mission. Right, if you want to find out more about this uh, personality, read <laughs> yes, my thesis. There's a lot about it. Okay. But the child's personality will have an impact on how you deal with them in the family. <laughs> But different children present different personalities, and it is important to consider each child's personality because it defines who they are. Beyond uh, their physical attributes, personality is very important. Uh, help. So health could be physical or mental. Yeah. How does it affect how you deal with the child? Uh, sex? That's male or female, isn't it? Yeah. See, I'm thinking that you've got sex and gender. Oh, you know the thing? Yeah, sex is whether you've got male parts or female parts. And um, gender is whether you are identify, identify as a male or female. Yes, it's because how you perceive yourself. Yeah. Right? Sex is by logical determinant. Mm -hmm. So that's like you, you can't be stereotypical anymore. Like boys should just play with footballs and girls should just play with dolls. Not in the yeah, modern so era. happened when we gave out a questionnaire, right? Mm -hmm. No. Um, the school else governor, years ago, he gave out a questionnaire to, to parents. So there were variables including, so we, 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 we put a variable, sex, right? So we didn't put uh, all your categories of uh, sex, male, female, non-binary and so on. We just said sex and one parent put in five times a night. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, gender is different. <laughs> it's not. Oh, no, no, actually did. Yeah, yeah. It did happen. <laughs> it did happen. One parent just put that. And so when we designed the next person here, we had to actually put the option so they could tick the correct option. We, we learned from that. So when you design your questionnaire for your research, be careful what you put in there. <laughs> right, gender. Oh. Do, do gender yeah. is what you refer to as well, isn't it? Yes, gender is how you identify yourself. Okay? Again, that is an impact on how you work with children. Right? If a child that identifies themselves as a particular gender, you need to respect that because it's a sensitive area, both for the child and for their family. All right? Now, what happens, because there was a debate in one school. Um, a boy went away on holiday. It was in one of the news, national newspapers, I think about five, six years ago. And when the boy came back, they identified as female. It was this uh, problem because the boy wanted to use a female toilet. And parents were concerned, father, children, obviously, uh, for, for obvious reasons. How would you handle that? Yeah, but why, how would you not? Um, how 
how do you handle? Oh, yeah. That. I've got a boy once he's going to the girls. Once he wants to try and find a girl. Yeah, so he wants to see the girl. Oh, uh, like, my cousin's the same, so she's a girl, but she identifies as a boy, and she goes into the girls' toilet stall sometimes. Well, what about just like, you? We have the girl in the toilet stall. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just do you use it? Yes, they yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. They do those now, yeah. They are, yeah. Or they, or they go in, they say it, they, if they feel uncomfortable, they go into it, they say, say it down, or they do it now. Yeah, good solution. Um, right, then you have things like uh, a child's sense of self, sense of <coughs> who they are, right? That's another aspect that may have an impact on how you, you, you work with children. And the self-deception, how they perceive themselves in the context of other children, right? And some children may have a negative self-perception, others may have a positive self-perception. And how do you support children with a negative self-perception? Change the negative into the positive. Okay, encourage them. Yeah. And maybe give them opportunities to succeed, yeah. right? <laughs> Family factor. Right, how does family religion affect your practice as a practitioner? You have to respect the children's religion mm -hmm. because they might do things throughout their day yeah. that the parents are wanting to continue doing it nursery, so you have to respect that and allow it. Or safety, like they have dietary requirements, you don't allow to eat certain things yeah. in the nursery or school to provide more services, like hello. Yeah, uh, and they call other time. There's also the different, um, we have a, the different um, jewellery or marks on the body that you have to respect. And they like um, the barley. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Um, uh, social class. Um, Do you differentiate I children don't by social class? No, but you make sure that every child has the same opportunities. Yeah. yeah. If one child has an advantage over another. Yeah. yeah. Making sure that everyone's <coughs> had that experience. Yeah. So if they go out to the, I don't know, yeah. You see that thing about um, when they go to Africa for a six week holiday, they remember, teachers remember that some children couldn't afford to go on holiday, yeah. so they don't have to wear it on holidays. Mm -hmm. yeah. and what they do. Yeah. And they do it, they gave the uniform as well, like my high school, you weren't allowed to wear, you weren't allowed to design a bag or shoes, um, just so that everyone was safe. Yeah, yeah. so you know what's about that school, about where it was. Like right, yeah. do you, okay, can you clarify one thing for me, yeah. right? You are the experts. Do you treat children the same, or do you treat them equally? And what's the difference? No, you treat them the same, it depends on the child. So what's the difference between equality and the same? So you meant to treat me equally, but not the same. But you couldn't. If you've got an NCN child, or a child who didn't have an additional need, you couldn't necessarily treat them the same equally yeah. for certain things. So you might try and treat them the same, but you might have to differentiate the tax. Yeah. Yeah. So if... Go on, Rebecca. Yeah. You have to make adaptions. Yeah. Yes. So if you, you are treat, going... You have to treat them equally, but because no child is the same, yes. everyone, especially if they have SEN, yeah. you have to make adaptions. Reasonable adjustments. Yeah. Reasonable adjustments. Yeah, there you go. Excellent. That's my one yeah. contribution to this lesson. Well, yeah, so you are... When you consider e equally, Equally means you respond to each child's needs yeah. in a positive way, so you, you are attempting to meet every child's needs. Treating them the same is ignoring their needs because all you're looking at is every child must be treated the same and you're making an assumption that all children have the same needs, which is an error. So equally is better than the same, right? That's why we have Equality Act rather than the same act. <laughs> this makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense, but fine. <laughs> <laughs>
yeah, equality is about meeting children's needs and acknowledging <coughs> those children's uh, individualities or individual differences. Uh, family type, what do we mean by family type? Does family type if the child has same-sex parents? Yes. Yes. Or no parents. Or siblings. Yep. Or siblings. Step siblings. Yes. All not married. Not married. Yep. All sort of different uh, family types. Do you differentiate by family type? No. 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 But being aware of the family type helps. You would then in a way like if his father's gay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So it's acknowledging yeah. the different circumstances in which children find themselves. Yeah? Um, relationship to the law, what does that mean? And why is that a family factor? If you've got um, parents or family relations in prison or yes. out of or, or families where crime is constantly yeah. committed, all that affects. Children. We are going to talk about how crime affects children in a family context when you do crime and supposing everyone's going to do crime, right? <laughs> Would you um, include social services in that as well? Um, do you want to expand? So, um, so like, say if, I don't know, um, would you, because obviously it, it's a, That makes sense, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it? <laughs> it does, yeah. Because I don't really, I'm not, in my head I know what I'm talking about. It does. I it out. Yeah, so. But yeah. It's, still, it's, still, it's legal for them to be involved, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. social services are involved. Yeah, so yeah. Social you social need to be aware of it and become sensitive to it as well. Yeah, well done. Didn't think about that when I planned this lesson, so yeah, that's quite unique. Well done, Anna. Right, okay. School factor. <laughs> right. So like private school or yes. Um, private. Uh, mainstream. <coughs> Some are religious schools yeah. owned by religions. Yeah. Um, whether it's a mainstream school or a special, is it a specialist special school? Needs. Yeah. 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 Special yeah. school, yeah. Um, or a PR, you all you call it a proof. Yeah. People referral unit. So all that right is an impact on how we deal with you. What about academies? Academies, yeah. So if you're in a religious school, you need to acknowledge that you are that you where you are, what religion is important in that particular context, and you need to respect that. Right? Composition of the school, i.e., is it composed of is it a boys on the school? Oh, yeah. Is it a girls on the school? Right. Uh, what's the composition of the school? The different schools have different sensitivities, and it depends on where you're working, and you have to take into consideration of where you are working. Okay, the composition of the school. Uh, school size, how big? Is it a big school? Is it a medium or large school? Again, School size matters, it affects how you work. And sometimes it also has an impact on how much funding the school gets. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Some each schools do have better funding than others. Well, each child in mind, dependent on how severe their um, disability is, to get yeah. more money for them, more funding. <coughs> yeah. But it doesn't necessarily, because we're in an academy as well, it's that funding for that child doesn't necessarily so go to the school. So the school decides how they it. spend that yeah. money. Okay. Um, the teachers in the school are also an important factor. And that may affect how we work, right? 
Yeah. The, the teachers in the school, yeah. we have an impact on how we work. Some teachers are in charge of them. The professionalism of the professionalism of the teachers, yeah, yeah, yeah. I especially subjects. Yeah. I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. <coughs> right. But it's, there are different types of teachers, right? And then you have uh, the curriculum. Curriculum is everything that's done in school. Um, you have the written curriculum and the unwritten curriculum. Um, am I correct in assuming that you know that? Yes, curriculum is not only what is written, it's also what is not written. Yeah? Everything that's done within a school, both unwritten and written, is the curriculum. So it's not just what appears in exams, but everything. So it helps the child develop in the five areas that is considered curriculum. That's why different schools may have, because if what is known as the national curriculum, right, that's what is written, but within every school, they their own interpretation. Is it true that Right, and then who is with the child? Those are the peers the child has, right? If they are supportive, that is an impact on how you work within the school. If they are not, it's another um, aspect that you want to consider. Are we moving too fast? No. Okay. no, no, no. Good pace. Right. Community factor. Right. Affluence. What does affluence mean? Rich. <laughs> Money. Rich or poor. Right. Why, why is that an important factor? Because some people get treated differently depending on how much money they've got. Okay. And sometimes people's expectations are, higher are different mm -hmm. depending on affluence. Some parents may be more demanding than others. Right? Yeah. They may have high expectations of the school others based on uh, their background. And the background may primarily <coughs> be affluence uh, of that particular family or community, right? So certain communities have certain priorities, and other communities have a different set of priorities, depending on where the school is, right? Is it in a neighborhood which is rich? So what are the expectations of that particular neighborhood when it comes to a setting? In a different setting, they have um, a different set of expectations. In certain settings, there are no expectations at all. Oh, am I right? Yeah, are we, they had, we had a um, practitioner that was saying task to the children, and one of the parents that were like, I density. So neighborhoods are overcrowded compared to others. Yeah. yeah. And those which are overcrowded tend to be affected by all sorts of things. Um, crime, antisocial behavior, you name it. Yeah, because 
there's a, a thing that's important when defines quality of life as square meters per person. And the more square meters you have per, per individual, the greater quality of life that person has. So maybe that is illustrated in also first size. So the quality of experience is likely to be better in a less overcrowded uh, classroom than it is in a, an overcrowded uh, classroom. Do, do you think that is okay? Is that your experience? Mm. Yeah. Because it's other parents expect a lot more data to bring a bit smaller class sizes. Yeah, so yeah. expectations are high. Yeah, always maybe going to um, a grammar school, which is, yeah, going to the But from the reception they're asking are they going to get them to a grammar school? So yeah, that kind of reason. The pressure. Yeah, all there. And no, that's fine. And again, grammar school. All right. Sometimes, sometimes they're the whole lot. Some of them actually have a diagnosis, like one of our girls went to Liberia 
National factors. Right. Shall we move on? <laughs> National factors. Right, okay. Now, what are dominant discourses? What does that mean? What are they? What, what's a discourse? Disagreement, altercation. Right, you want to search for it? Yeah. Don't worry, don't tend to be like that. Mine's for ages, though. Right, who is there? Discourse, what is it? Yes. So debate, communication. Are we all there? Yeah, that, that's fine. Amanda just found it. Yeah, these, these are discourses. So a discourse is, right, Amanda, come again. Right, okay, we all listen. We are. Yeah, okay, go on, Amanda. Sorry, written or spoken communication or debate. Yeah. So that's why the president is there, because it's current debate. Written or okay. spoken debate. Yeah. yeah. So dominant discourses. Um, and then you also have the media. The media has a lot of influence. Did you know that the media decides when to make us, uh, they tell us when to get angry and when to be happy yeah, and so on. Yeah, yeah. They sensationalize the news, yeah. right? Sensationalize. Exactly. Yeah, so you have different editorial positions. <laughs> Right? Can I have one more? But then you can always move it to the Right, Brexit, how is it affecting the national discourse? Well, no one really knows what's going on, so everyone's a little bit confused. Well, yep. the Including the government. <laughs> yeah, especially that. Yeah. Especially then. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, li I liked um, Theresa May's definition of Brexit. Do you know it? Theresa May? 
How did she define Brexit? Uh, she, she used to say Brexit means Brexit. That's yeah, the definition of Brexit. Yeah, that's what it. Oh, and that's the problem, isn't it? That's where the problem is, because no one knows what it means. Right, shall we move on to mental health? It's a national yeah. thing nowadays, isn't yeah. it? Social media. There's, there's a lot of talk about mental health. Yeah. The stigma is slowly dissipating, yeah. fading. You have the um, awareness days as well now, don't you, Gloria? Yeah. And celebrities have joined in, haven't they? Yeah. Talk about uh, the mental health issues. It helps people, you know, come forward with mental health issues. Does anyone know how much the government is? Uh, how much funding is there for, for, for mental health? Do you know? There, there isn't much funding. No, I thought they were looking at mental health. Yes, there is, but it's still, it's still not enough. There they are pledging to, to, to fund mental health, but still the money is not enough. Um, then you have government policy. Again, it depends on who is in power. State of the economy. When you're in a recession, when you know people are losing their jobs and so on, that is an impact uh, compared to when uh, the economy is on the up. Do you think looking at how like laws will change and how that will impact children, like safeguarding laws? Yeah, that that is an impact. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially after. Because they'll have to, they'll have to create new ones, won't they? Because that is like, well, well, key, well, well, not well, necessarily. Yeah. Well, it's um, well, well, it's going to be a matter of whether or not the government wants to change the laws. They don't have to change. If you're a key, they will be allowed to leave. Uh, no, it will, it will no longer apply. It's our own laws here that will apply to, to us. The European law won't apply after Brexit. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. like, so, so if they like the UN Convention, which I guess that's the world law, is No, I don't know about like, the Italian laws. No, those are ours. Are they ours? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. In my work, it's telling me something wrong. Mm -hmm. If you like hand out in the European law, the children. May not may not be different yeah. to what is being replaced. The the more things change, the more they remain the same. Okay, right, another task. Oh, well, uh, oh, can I ask a question? Yep. Can I ask the handouts from last week? If you've got any time. Oh, yeah, we need the timetables and stuff. Yeah, I need everything. Right, I think I still have handouts in the office. I don't know if they are from last week or the week. No. Last week was the first week. I have them in my office. Please, can you get them to you? 4 or 8 p.m.? Yes, I will. Thank you. While you do this, Okay, yeah. group task, folks. Just two activities. Oh, babies are going to pick up. 